Hey guys, Geo Badger here, bringing you guys another Caching with Badger adventure. Today we're out in Roseman again, and we're going to be looking for some geocaches that another fellow cacher placed around uh, around the hills and in this busy intersection. We could do her a favor of finding these. She went through the uh, trouble to hide them, so we're going to find them. So I'm right here at the uh, in the intersection. This intersection is uh, very important because it leads into these hills here and also leads into a it also leads to a, another way into Mojave if you don't want to take the freeway that is but usually I take this street here and it's a ton of caches that way the intersection also leads up this way into the hills where numerous caches have been hit including including a lot of my own so I have to bore you guys with that but I seem to have walked up and went a little too far and I just happened to look down and I see that I don't know if you guys can see it but I see the cash down in there yeah I see the cash down in there sadly I didn't bring my long tweezers and uh, my multi tool does not have a tool that can go down there and get and uh, get the uh, container out so one of, one of the uh, one of the things I like most about this hobby is that you have to Im improvise. So what we're going to do is see if we can take this here stick. Maybe one of the uh, little little branches on there will hook on it. And maybe we can drag it up. Let's see what we can do here. It's funny the people are looking at me. Like I'm some kind of weirdo. Tell you guys what. I'm gonna go ahead and try to fish this thing out and I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. It took uh two sticks and two hands and I was able to get it. Beautifully made uh container here. Awesome. Alright guys, I'm gonna get this uh signed up and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I got the log all signed up. I'm gonna place it uh, I'm gonna place it back. I found it. Nice. All done here, guys. All right, guys. We're about to move into uh, into the hills, and we're going to find a second one. Along the way, we might then go fix one of uh, one of my caches that I had actually uh, placed the other day, but it was too close to another cache, and so it couldn't be submitted. So we're going to go up there to the hills and do a little adventure. I'll see you guys when I get there. Alright guys, Badger's back. So, we arrived at the base of the hills here. And according to, according to the map, it's located just about beyond this hill. Now, I like to bring the geomobile really close, but not too close. Otherwise, it's not really that much of a hike. Anyways, um, if you guys can remember, this is actually one of the places I had put one of my caches. Right up there on that hill, somewhere near those rocks. Not gonna spoil it. But, so, a significant hike through these hills here. And so, to anticipate this, make sure I brought my hydration pack. And of course, I always have my, uh, my belt with all my other little supplies and things that when I'm going on a significant, uh, a caching adventure. All right, so let's figure out where we have to go. Wow, we're really a ways. Okay, so 
you guys are familiar that little blue dots me and we have to go way over here so it's gonna be a it's gonna be quite a hike uh, I'm not sure if I can move the uh, geomobiling closer oh no I can't I came biking through here not not so long ago to place another cache uh, I didn't bring you guys with me on that one because uh, one I don't I didn't have a you know a little mount for the bike for the camera and two it was extremely windy you guys probably wouldn't even been able to hear me it was so windy um, and also uh, I had a bike up these hills that was uh, strenuous but uh, I don't think the car can actually make it through these hills they're a little too steep to go up and down but uh, hey my feet and legs can do it though all right so as always guys I'm going to sit there and uh, talk for a little bit on the way and then Stop, stop the camera so I don't have to bore you guys to death. With useless babble. Alright. I don't like leaving the geomobile by itself down here. Well, I can't see it. It's not within line of sight. But uh, we'll risk it. Hopefully nothing happens. It's going to be a significant hike. Uh, let's see, let's see where the best way to go here. I can't believe she hiked all the way through here. This is amazing. And so it's a, uh, it's a half mile away. Oh look, there goes another airplane. Seen one of those in a while. All right, let's get it. And yes, I am prepared today. I do have on hiking attire. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot one important piece of equipment. I forgot my gloves. Anyways, I do have one hiking attire, some nice thick pants for bushes, some good hiking boots, hydration pack, uh, I guess you can call it a utility belt with all my uh, all my useful tools at the crate. Alright. Always bring gloves with guys when you go on hiking, even if you think you're not gonna need them. They just come in handy, period. And when caching, if you're caching out in a wilderness area, you know, like deserts and forests and such, definitely bring gloves. Um, you know, sometimes you don't know what you're sticking your hand into until something bites you. And also, you know, thorns and things. Just come in handy. I like to use these uh, thick uh, cowhide gloves. They come in, they, uh, them in you know a variety of sizes and you can just find these anywhere these are I usually use these uh in hiking and these are pretty well used and they haven't let me down since but I did spill water on them one day and turned red I understand that got something bleached it all right if I start stuttering and sounding uh incoherent it's not a it's not from dehydration or anything or drugs it's mostly because I'm still not used to being on camera um I'll see yeah the car would not have made it through here let's see here someone came through here with a dog Here with my biker not too long ago and uh i remember coming down this one this little hill here i remember saying when i got to the bottom i'm glad i didn't fall all right what should we do take the high road or take this low little area here hmm 
Let's go the route of uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, take the high ground. Now we can get a better look at the land also. Lots of four wheels and dirt bike tracks up here. As you guys can see, popular spot for them. Yeah, I definitely remember coming down this mountain bike. Alright. Let's see here. Hmm. Let me check the map real quick. Hmm. So we go this way. Continue on. It's a lovely day to be doing this. It's not so hot. It's not so windy and cold. Which I still, it's still a shocker to me of how cold the desert can get. Not so long ago, it was about 34 degrees out here at high wind. Can you imagine the chill factor? Oh man, I did not enjoy it. Look at this little runoff right here, let's wash. It's amazing, it's like a natural little uh, uh, little highway. Hmm, is this the place I'm supposed to turn at? Let's see here. Nope, keep going straight. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave the video. I'm gonna uh, stop the video here, proceed up, and uh, I'll see you guys when I'm a little bit closer. Lots of other potential out here for more hides. Oh yeah. So I reached the top of the this hill here. And uh about to proceed up. Up in uh deep into the hills here. But just look how the, the vastness of that desert. Look at that. It has the illusion that it just stretches on forever. Unforgiving arid, arid land. Look at that. Of course, uh, this is that geomobile. It's way over there. All right. Uh, we're not close to the gun range today, actually. Probably can still hear a couple of booms from the gunshots. See what's down there, right? Wow, just look at that rock face over there, huh? Nice, nice amount of hides can go over there. Look at that. You've even up there. Here's that little, uh, I mean, it's almost like a canyon. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's stand over there, see, see what we can see down there. Hope I'm not boring you guys. I really don't like to walk and talk that much. I usually run out of things to say. Wow. Look at this. In 
more than likely this was caused by just water erosion I mean just look at this it's amazing it's like a little miniature gorge I'm pretty sure it just when it rains down here it just fills up look at that and it washes right there look how amazing that is and you got a little structure down there I guess someone's been down here before that's awesome Wow. It's pretty deep too. Whoosh. That is amazing. Alright guys. Enough of that. Let's get back to it. Let's get back on the main trail. Let's get up there. I'll meet you guys in I'll get I'll see you guys when I get there. We didn't travel very far from that gorge. But just looking ahead, I seem to notice these uh these pile of uh, rocks everywhere. Like this one here, this one over there, over there, it continues up. I'm not sure if these are like uh, markers placed for um, for hikers and uh, and people on dirt bikes and motorbikes and that stuff. Yeah, so here's another one. Been here for a while too. Look at that. All the friendly little ants. They made a nice little home of it. So, my best guess is these are markers of some sort. I hope I noticed something though, since I moved out here this way. Is that of all birds, I've only seen crows out here. Nothing more, no hawks. I mean, yeah, you give it your your little um, you know, the little birds like little house sparrows, even one starling. But majority, I see crows. I don't get that. I even though they like being in the desert, see, there's another marker. Here. I don't mind doing this, you know, share my adventures with you guys. Well, it gets kind of lonely. <laughs> I mean, other than, you know, talking to you guys, but. It actually gets pretty lonely. I really wish I had like a uh, partner with me, or at least a dog. I really want a dog with me. Call him Casher. I think that's a cute name, right? Casher. I think that's a nice name. Another one. Yeah, it looks like that's the end of the markers. Check the map. It says I am a third of a mile there. Cool, so we don't have to climb that for no reason at all. All right, guys, I'm going to continue walking on a bit. I'll see you guys in a moment. Nice little line of rocks here. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, oh, something in my sock. Um, I'm only 518 feet away from the location of the cache, but I'm quite certain when I point the camera, I mean the phone, in that direction, 
is leading to this rock face. It's a lovely rock face. I mean, the cat, the uh, the creator of this one picked a lovely spot. Look at that. Oops, sorry. Look at that. It's amazing. Quite the hike in. Definitely quite the hike in. I mean, well, let me zoom out here. I don't think I've ever been this deep in these hills before. It's quite quiet, except for like an airplane, maybe some traffic noise from the background. But other than that, it's quite quiet. And it's a lovely area. Like, I cannot commend the creator of this cache anymore for her choosing of this area. Look at that. Airplane. And then it's like this little, I guess, I want to call it the uh, rock line of success, of accomplishment, or, uh, yeah, or accomplishment. Whew. But I don't know why the why it veered off course and had me on the side of this mountain, I mean, side of this hill, rather than going up there. But hey, whatever. I'm not going to complain. As long as we're getting there. As long as I don't go, whoa. As long as I, as long as I don't go tumbling down the, the hill. Here at this little intersection. Wow, look at that. Alright, look at that. Natural red rocks. All that good stuff. And for the reveal, that over there. Let's get a good shot of that. Look at that. Huh, yeah, see? Hmm. So, I'm guessing. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera, but it's leading right up there. So we, where do we want to take? Do we want to take easy way, or hard way? I say we take. I say we take the easy way, and where we can swing around and come down rather than going up. And then we'll just investigate the surrounding area. See what we can come up with. All right. I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, guys. We're in the area. Um, so we're going to go ahead and look around. See what we can find. Some old magazines and things up here. Pictures, whatever. I want to guess it's in there, but that looks like some kind of animal nest. Oh, check this out. Check that out over there. Was, when I was heading up here, I see this small little hole right there. It's like some kind of cave. I guess after we leave this place, we go check that out. I'm probably not brave enough to go in there, but we'll, we'll see when we get there, right? All right. Okay. Let's see here. I got the magic caching glove on. <sighs> nope, this hasn't been moved. <clears throat> like coconut up here. So, uh, hmm. I like to try to search on my own before I pull out the hints and whatnot. Right, I guess we are going to check that cave.
Ooh. Hopefully no one's home and wants to fight. I definitely don't want this one up and did not find. Hmm. Let's try that black rock right there. Gordon has le uh, led me here. Looks like it's been disturbed. Uh, nope. Should I take that bottle down with me? Shouldn't be up here. Should be recycled somewhere. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing. All right. Huh. What about there? I do see some foot, footprints here. Someone's been up here. Oh, not those little flies that like to beat on me. Can't stand those guys. Okay. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna need a hint here. Wait a minute. Oh. Well, not a hint. We'll just check the description. I actually didn't do that. I need to tie my boot. Let's see here. Nope. All right, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Just read the description. So, I'm pretty much looking for a smaller cave somewhere towards the. Ouch, something was on me. A smaller cave somewhere towards the west. So, if my sense of direction is spot on, that way it's west. So, let's give that a look. Oh, that's west. Just search along the wall and stuff. Not seeing anything. I should look at the size of it. Oh, look at that. I don't know the name of these plants, but they're little little thorns. They just they just irritate the heck out of me. So I end up calling it Badger's Bane. I'm gonna eventually look up what these are called, but right now these oh get off me little fly. These little guys just tick me off whenever I brush into them. I always try to be careful not to. Hmm. Now that doesn't look natural. You see how it is? Let's see. Oh, there it is right there. Yeah. Ooh. See? Gloves come in handy, guys. Lovely. Well, wow. we've been up here quite a while looking for this thing. All right, <laughs> I'm glad I found it. Um, let's see if I can get this glove off of one hand. Uh, oh boy, look at that. Uh, I can't open that. There it is. You guys, look see inside. Oops. Come on, break it. There's the log. Yep, <laughs> here's the thing. These two guys right here are amazing cashers. Uh, the guy Wolf, for an example, this guy can almost sniff out a new cache has been placed. I mean, I'm talking within the hour he's on it and he finds it. This guy, there's no joke. Along with his uh, his friend, it's another gentleman also. Uh, 
I don't know how to pronounce his name here, but there's another guy also with them <laughs> that be with them, part of a little group named um, uh, Viper Camp, and these guys are amazing cashers. I mean, there is no hide, there's no hide that these guys will not find. I mean, they found one of mine within like an hour or two before, um, I mean, an hour or two after I had left the site. And in fact, I just got an alert from this gentleman right here that he found two of mine. Wow. All right. Let's see what we have for prizes here. Well, tradable items. Oh, these are lovely. Look at that. Where are they like acorns or apples? Those are beautiful. And oh, look at that. A nice little key. A couple keys are in there. I think they're all the same. Oh, no, they're different ones. My little fat hands. <laughs> That's what my mom always used to say. Wow, look at that. Those are amazing. Nicely done. Uh, I don't know where I would like to take this one. Well, trade, actually, I should say. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll, I'll trade one of the keys. I like these little flies that got it. I just now need to choose which one. Hmm. That's one big um, fly. Ah, I'm sorry. All right, um, hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, I can't decide. I'll tell you what, I'll decide once I get the log signed up. All right, guys. I'm gonna get this log signed up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I got the log all signed up and everything's closed up. And so I decided to uh, trade this key. I put one of my own keys in there. A nice American flag and eagle key. And I decided to take this key. For a trade, so I'll look lovely on a necklace or something. Let's go ahead and put this back where you originally found it. And it's really a nice cast, a nice hiding spot. Um, it's not bad at all. I do recommend wearing gloves, though. Let's see if I can get this back in there. What is that noise? Ho ho! Check that guy out. That's amazing. Now that's a vehicle for cash. That's awesome. All right. Okay. I think that looks good enough. Okay. It's impossible for me to get the the rock to stand up oh well i think that's good enough right there all right guys we're going to go check out that cave it's a lovely um uh, find by the way oh uh, gosh let's see what will be the best route i don't guess their route would be bad Alright guys, I'm gonna head that way. Alright guys, I made it to the other side where these caves are. Check this out. Look at that. That almost looked like a geocache hide, right? Yep. 
Yeah, I'm not brave enough to go all the way to the back. I don't usually trust caves. Look at that. I had no idea this existed. I asked around about this area. I'm gonna mark it on my map. It's coordinates. Is this the same place? Can't tell. Let's go check over there. Daylight starting to fade. We have to get to the uh, to another cache. Well, my cache, and see if we can rehide it because the uh, coordinates were too close to another cache site. Okay, good time to have some friends. <laughs> it feels so crazy going in here. Look at this. It's an actual cave. The reason why I sound so astonished is because I've never been inside of a cave before. I mean, like an amusement park. Ah, oh, something. I wonder if this is natural or not. Looks like someone had a fire right there. That's cool. Lego. That's what I love about exploration. You find all types of unique things. Wow, this is interesting. I've never been here before. I mean, I've never even heard about this place before. Excuse me. I wonder if that's man-made or is this just naturally occurring? But my guess would have to be man-made because look at all this stuff that just is pouring out here. So it looked like it, maybe it was dug. Maybe somebody was looking for gold, didn't find it and gave up. This is really something. Yeah, I don't want to go all the way back there. I don't know why I have this creepy feeling about it. Hmm. This is Mojave. Mojave stairs? Stalls? I can't tell. Like it just ended in, in back there. Camera's hmm. picking up something that's weird. All right, let's go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. I'm gonna end the video here. I have a long hike back to the geomobile hopefully we have enough time enough daylight to sit there and go and rehide a, uh, a cache of mines so until next time well not next time i'll see you guys when i get over to the other side of the mountain that way hey everyone badger's back um so just now nearing the location where i had placed a hide that was too close to another geocache so I left the mountain from where, well, hill from where I was at and drove over here and hiked in. So, just about there. On my way in, on my way in I found another, uh, found another place. It looks pretty nice. Probably won't have to work, work as hard to sit there and set this one up. I initially was going to place it deeper in here. But, um, I don't know. I'll probably have to go a little more deeper because somewhere over here is a cache. 
be sure I check my work on this one so I have to come back up here. Oh, wow, well, too high. I'll go down. There's the area there. Whew. All right. Yep. Here was that. Here where I was at. There she is. I want you guys to check this out. <laughs> look, look at the eye. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> look at that. All right, guys. I'm going to uh, relocate this right quick, and I'll be right back. Oh, running out of daylight. Good thing I'm done. So, this is what I came up with, uh, just like the other one, where I re when, uh, just like the, uh, uh, the other site. Um, I decided to relocate this cache over here. And as always, I dug a deep hole. I filled it with some rocks, you know, for help with drainage, so, you know, water gets in there and keep, it, keep the uh, cache off the ground. And then... We're gonna, oops, sorry. Put that down there. <laughs> We're gonna put Amy in there. Yeah, that's why I decided to name her Amy. She goes in there inside her little pool. And there you go. I think that looks so I think that looks so cute, right? Alright, so I'm gonna cover her up with this board. Try to make her look, try to make it look like no one was here. Hopefully no one guesses it so quickly. But I'm pretty sure they will. Whew, it's been, whew, it's been a heck of a day, right? Through the mountains and out to down here, running out of sunlight, and I'm running out of things to say. So I want to thank you guys for joining me on this caching adventure. I want to thank you for your likes, views, and support. And I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, I didn't sign a log yet, but check this out. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that. It's like a a dirt devil of some sort or something. Look at that. It was much, much bigger a while ago. Like that thing was just moving. Look like it's dissipating now. But wow, that thing was just spinning, looking all crazy. All right, guys. Oh, I had to share that with you guys.